Yo, how we doing this morning, everybody? Good to see you. Welcome to another day here on the channel. Hi, good to see you. Woo, okay. It's been a, a crazy few days and uh, we're gonna have a nice chill weekend. Now, as you guys know, I'm currently on a kick in a game called V Rising that just hit 1.0. I would still be playing that, but there's another game that came along that I've been looking forward to and talking about for many, many, many months. And what that game is, is it is a very special game to me because this is a game that I play, I grew up playing, specifically the first and second one. These games did things that other, um, that other RTSs did not even try to do. They were arguably the first true RTS in 3D. And it was incredibly cool to see like the gaming community react to that and the second one come out and all that. So today I'm incredibly happy to be here with a sponsored look early at Homeworld 3. This is Homeworld 3. And we are going to be checking this out for the first time today. And uh, I am really, really looking forward to this. So I want to give a big and special shout out to our friends at Gearbox, uh, specifically Gearbox Publishing, for letting us take an early look at this. We're going to be playing this for two hours. We're going to be checking it all out. And uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, pretty great. So um, this right now, the only thing I've done is basically open it up, make sure it worked. We did do the demo, which I think was the tutorial. I do kind of want to maybe do it again. Just make absolutely sure. Um, let's take a look here. Game difficulty medium. Oh man, I, what, yeah, what, what are our, oh. Wow, so there's a lot of custom stuff here. That's cool. Look at all this. Nice. A lot of customization in the difficulty. Um, we'll do it. Let's start on medium. Use default fleet for mission. Oh, interesting. So we get like one big thing about this game is how you move through it. Like the progress consistently saves. So if you like lose a unit in the first mission, you won't have it in the second mission. So it looks like you can turn that off, which is interesting. Huh. Yes, let's play the tutorial again. Would it be recommended to play Homeworld 1 and 2 first? I can't answer that yet. It, it really depends on the story the elements we see today. Functionality necessary for future missions. Most likely, yes. If, if this takes place after Homeworld 1 and 2, there is a lot of story stuff in this game. It's actually pretty freaking interesting how it all works. Um... Man, this need we need to tune that down a bit. Oh, we can raise the field of view. Okay. Um, where's my camera? Here we go. The sprint input. What is? Is I sprinting? Objectives. Missions may require multiple objectives to be accomplished, either linearly or concurrently. Situational awareness is key for control over the battlefield. Okay. To look around with the camera, right click. Uh, also, somebody in chat just said apparently on the main menu, we'll look at it after this, but apparently on the main menu, there's a history of homeworld button. So maybe that is uh, what we're looking for. Um, I'm trying to reduce the speed of the camera. I want to, is I don't think it's this. I don't think it's that. Ah. Ah, that is so much better. Rotate your view to get a better. Right, let's try it actually even lower. Oh yes. Isn't that better? It's so much nicer. Now rotate to look at the asteroid bay. And now rotate your view to look at the friendly carrier. Hi. Next is moving your view. Attempt this now. W and S will move the camera forward and backwards. Q, D and A will move it left and right and Q and E will move it up and down. Press and hold shift to increase the speed. Okay. Oh, we can't. Okay, so that's without Move shift, view with shift. Closely view the nearby right. asteroid bay. 
And I could do it even slower. Dang, really? That's kind of what I was looking for, <laughs> funny enough. Because one of the things I love doing in this game is just looking at the ships. Like, I love the design and everything in it. Okay. Finally, adjust the height of your view to gain or reduce elevation in the mission area. Attempt to gain a close view of the Allied carrier above now. Mouse wheel will zoom the camera, uh, camera forward and back. If, the, in an, if in orbit mode, press both left and right click while moving the mouse up or down. The zoom oh. command can accomplish the same task, albeit more easily. Okay. Try this now. At any time, the mothership can be quickly returned to via a dedicated command. Try this now. All right. Wow. <sighs> Operations. Man, that looks so good. Pressing space or clicking the button at the lower center of the HUD will toggle, se toggle sensor management. The sensors manager is critical for quickly surveying the entire mission area all at once. In a case. Good. The direction of critical positions in the mission area will be shown on the sensors gyro. Okay. The directional gyro is at the bottom of the screen. Okay. The first marker shows the direction of the mothership. This one needs to be much higher. This second marker points towards objectives and related points of interest. Okay. Finally, the last marker indicates the direction Renea! of the combat events currently Thanks for the 127. The sensors manager allows you to see the positions of the fleet as well as their line of sight. Orders can also be issued from this view. All units have a sensor's range, their effective sighting radius as a sphere around them. Units outside this range are usually undetectable, and these areas are the dark fields of the sensors manager. All units have differing sensors range. Spreading ships out or building units that specialize in high sensor range can provide crucial information on enemy positions. Resources are highlighted with triangular points of interest. At okay. any time, a tactical pause can be issued. Use this to your advantage to plan or issue orders under high stress or time critical situations. Toggle between the current gameplay speed and virtual pause with P. To adjust the speed of gameplay, use P and the mouse wheel. Initiate and then cancel a tactical pause now. Note that while paused, nice. units cannot react to orders. Likewise, objectives cannot be completed. Operation speed can be reduced by intervals of 25% using the dedicated oh, command. Good time to mention, by the way, and uh, this is to the mods as well. Uh, Gearbox Publishing has also, they, they attempted to send me a very cool... Homeworld 3 Influencer Kit. Unfortunately, it got completely gummed up in customs. Yay, customs. However, um, what is awesome about this, it is not only awesome that I will be getting an Influencer Kit and showing it off to you guys, but we will be getting a second Influencer Kit to give away to you from Gearbox Publishing. So, moderators, if we could get a giveaway queued up for a Gearbox Homeworld 3 Influencer Kit from Gearbox Publishing. We will do that as a normal giveaway at the end of the Homeworld 3 stream today. So, yeah. Big thank you to our friends over at uh, Gearbox. Very cool. No, no, no. Influencer, not Influenza. That is a different thing, and the Influenza Kit giveaway is next week. Yep. You may or may not want to enter that one. That, that's kind of on you. Okay. Great. But no, the Influencer the Homeworld 3 kit is at the end of the two-hour stream today. About an hour and 45 minutes.
Press middle mouse button or F to focus the camera on the selected object. This can be done with a dedicated command to enter a focused view. Try this now. When ships have been focused on, your view will be set to orbit around the subject. Attempt to orbit your view around the mothership with it in focus. Channel open, stand by. Your view can also be zoomed in and out from the subject. Try this now. There we go. Now for commands. All unit operations begin by designating a unit to issue orders to. Makes sense. To make this select a unit, either left click directly on it or its tactical class icon, or press and hold and drag a box. Shift to add, double click to select all types. Normal RTS stuff. Great. Start by selecting the resource controller. Not all ships are combat vessels, but each class of ship has a unique role, function, and set of abilities. The mothership is a slung, well armored shipyard capable of fending off rudimentary threats on its own. The resource controller's resource ability is used to harvest resource units, RUs, primarily from resource patches found in asteroids or structural debris. To produce additional units for the fleet or research new tech to enhance fleet resources are required. To harvest resources, select a controller, then click or press the hotkey for the resource ability button. Okay. Additional resource controllers allow the collection of RUs from multiple resource sites at the same time. With the resource controller selected, begin a resource operation. Controller on location. Please advise. Boop. The resource ability button to automatically begin gaining resources. Do I have to do it one at a time? Ah, I do. Oh, wait, maybe I had the home world selected. Oh, wait, so if I do this. There we go. Right, no, okay, great. Boop. We got it. Begin a harvest operation with the new resource controller. These RUs will be used in further ship production and research. Resource controllers are unarmed. Hey, home should be protected. While very vulnerable, they have several additional uses, including recovering mission vital objectives in the AO, and in some circumstances, even capturing enemy ships. Growing the fleet is essential for every operation. Some units and their abilities require research before they can be produced or used. Research can be done via the build management panel. Hovering the cursor over an entry will display research prerequisites. Press B or click the build and research button in the upper right of the corner to access the build management. Press B multiple times. We'll cycle between the production capable units if there's more than one available. Open the build and research command interface to begin unit production. In some instances, technology must be researched before production can begin. Recon strike craft are now available. Research in order to produce a small contingent of ships for the fleet. Cool. Is this an outer space version of StarCraft? Kind of. Uh, StarCraft is an RTS and Homeworld is an RTS. However, um, Homeworld does a lot of incredibly unique things uh, to the RTS genre, like its 3D movement system. The, I mean, it, your 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 base and 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 construction systems are totally redone in this game. Um, it's it's a very different experience, even though they're the same genre. Yeah, a very unique experience. Uh, regular ships barely, thank you. That's, I specifically said regular. Yep. Larger or more powerful ships take longer to build, as well as more resources. If the fleet runs out of resources, production will stall during its creation. Cool. Yo, there's my little dude. Send message. Oh, I love it, dude. Oh, they come out and like make their own little strike fleet. We'll need uh, hey, Co, are you limited to the first two missions before the game launch? 
Let me check. Um, I don't think so. But here's the thing. Uh, I, I've been very clear that we're kind of like doing our, our B rising thing now. So I most likely will not try to like Recon push too complete. much main military arm on this. Yeah. For orders, like so, but I'm not sure. Ones. I don't see but anything about that. military units can be selected at once through the dedicated command. Try this now. Uh, Gerb Camp. Yes, I do need, first of all, thank you for the 67. And I do plan on uh, returning to that at some point. Barring schedule availability. Yes, that is that is in the plan. Okay. With... Oh, Lord. Uh, let's see. Move the contingent of recon ships to the marked point. Well, that's it. Okay, we're good. Our <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot more complicated. Issue movement order. Select at least one unit capable of moving, then tap right click on a surface to issue. Left Is that left click? Right click. To order the move that location. Maybe it's left click. No, it's right click. Our units can yeah. take advantage and then left click to issue the order. Shield against oncoming threats. During combat, pilots will attempt to take advantage of whatever cover is nearby. But giving them path directions that take advantage of cover can be paramount to mission success. Okay. Hmm. Coordinates locked in. Try to keep a low profile. Move the strike craft to the marked destination near the terrain. Units can also be directed to positions out in open space. Mm -hmm. Vector set, on route. Uh, confirming target vector. Wait, did I bring my resource harvesters too? Where are they going? Oh, they're going over here. I was <laughs> like, what? We're on the move. Attention. Hostile presence detected ahead. To attack one or more hostile units, select unit capable of attacking, then press and hold control and drag a mouse to create an attack bounding box. Okay. Direct our units to oh, engage the hostile presence. Uh, ready. That did. So as you can see, like the guy earlier asked, this isn't really StarCraft. <laughs> it's kind of its own thing. Yeah. These fights that you're watching now, later in the game, you're gonna have fights like this with 50 little ships, 20 mid-range ships, and giant capital ships. And they're all gonna be doing like a giant space fleet battle that you're gonna be controlling. It's freaking incredible. This is just a very, very small taste of like what this game does later. Position secured. Ship behavior can also be controlled through formations and stances. This is more like Stardew Valley crossed with prey. Uh, with a little Gran Turismo and some Tetris. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, formations organize units into certain shapes or arrangements. Certain formations may be more or less beneficial depending on the task carried out by the unit. Okay. Where's the formation button? Start a new formation. The, oh, here. Copy. Formations change how ships align themselves in relation to one another. Formations can affect grouping, ability to focus fire damage, and even vulnerability to certain weapon types. 
In addition to placing units in formation, behavior can be fine-tuned through stances. <laughs> okay. A unit stance. Change unit stance for select at least one unit, then left-click on the stance button. Stance influences many factors, including unit formations, attack patterns, and... Oh, batteries. okay. Free fire, all contact. Just watch your wing support. Push through, take it out. Allied ships inbound. Tracking solid here, use my beat. React! Break and roll out. Target down. Copy. Pushing through. Hostiles destroyed. Cool. Transferring command of the Allied Interceptor strike craft to you now. Thanks, Space Dad! Your ships have suffered casualties. Replace and reinforce the fleet as resources become available. Units can be quickly repaired by sending them to dock with either the mothership or a carrier. Dock with the carrier now. Okay. Uh, let's dock. Boop. DC, we are on approach. Room for us? Yeah, I probably should not do this because I'm probably going to fail the mission. <laughs> so let's not do that. I don't necessarily want to play the tutorial twice. I think it's just going to cap out at 20, though. I think what happens is it caps out at 20, and then every time one dies, it auto builds a new one. I think. Switch to the newly transferred carrier in the build menu to begin unit production from it. To bolster our fleet, build additional interceptors from the carrier now. One sec, chat. That strike craft was built from the mothership rather than the carrier. Be certain to designate the carrier from the build panel. Wow. There we go. Thanks, chat. Mm -mm. Great. Uh, okay. Researching. Interceptor. Balanced strike craft, strong versus strike craft, and slower single target damage based opponents, weak versus anti strike craft. Makes sense. And good. Can't actually switch to mothership. Am I supposed to be able to? With the build menu research open, use the drop down menu to switch between units to build from. I I'm I'm clicking as hard as I can. And then do I just build these? Oh, and then I just build five of these. Oh, 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 this is this didn't catch up. This didn't catch up with this. Okay, that's what was going on. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yep. While carriers can't build capital ships, they're more mobile than the mothership and can quickly reposition themselves across a battlefield. Go. Oh, look at all these. Here we go. Send message. certain to build interceptors rather than more recon. Although slower, their firepower is significant. Recon production complete. Okay. Interceptor production complete. Bolstering Wait. unit numbers is only one way to reinforce the fleet. New abilities for units can also be researched, which will give units extra utility or an edge in battle. Thank you, Mithrin Deerhu. Begin researching the ability upgrade for interceptors. Interceptor Overcharge allows the unit to gain a temporary damage boost at a cost to its hull armor. Oh, it's a berserk. Okay, cool. 
Let's get that. By the way, as we've reached the first half hour, thank you again to Gearbox Publishing for sponsoring the stream. This is Homeworld 3, available on May 13th this year. There's a link in the pinned chat command, also the Homeworld 3 command, the Homeworld command, and uh, all sorts of good information can be found in there. So, yep. Uh, there's advanced access now if you want to, or the game releases officially on the 13th. And uh, yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoy the stream today. This has been very cool. As a Homeworld 1 and 2 player, it is very cool to be back. Right now, we are waiting for this to finish. Once researched, the technology is made available for all units it applies to. Most units will not use their abilities automatically and must receive direct orders. With good timing, this can turn the tide of an operation. Test the newly researched ability now. Receiving. We're clear to pursue and engage. Good. The ability will be active for a short period of time before going on cooldown. Using unit abilities frequently will give you an advantage in battle. Hmm. The next location will allow units to take advantage of the tunnel to navigate, shielding them in the event of oncoming fire. Direct the contingent to the target position. Send transmission. Send. They're so calculating it opens the link. Awaiting figures lead. Lead copies. Go full. I want everyone. Out there. We're bringing the whole crew. Confirmed. Okay. Move complete. Interceptor holding. Uh, Angelos, today we'll be playing until about 10 a.m. So we've got about another hour and a half. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. I We kept it in sub mode after the bot attack. Let me turn that off. I'm sorry, non-subs. My bad, dudes. That's on me. Should be good now. Move complete. Okay, so... If I go sensor mode, do I go a lot faster? Not really. But we should make our sensor mode a lot faster. So if you need to... And where's the where's the sprint thing? Ah, there it is. Okay. Now if I go out of sensor mode, I'm here in real space, right? No. Oh, interesting. Okay. So those are two independent cameras. All right, that works. Go for recon. Copy. On our way. Ooh, this is something you couldn't really do in the first game. The the first and second game, they didn't really do like through big objects. It was just kind of around it. This is uh, definitely new. Receiving. Coming around. Adjusting plot. TMC set. Position two. Green line confirmed. Location secured. No hostiles detected. Move the contingent of recon ships to the designated area above to gain cover and a vantage point. Vector set. Log confirmed. US set for range. Fleet, recon lead. We are on oh, station. Gotta remember, when you look at a higher up yeah. line, or higher up object, there's a line that Hostiles goes down to the Y of where your people aid. are. Attack the enemies now. Uh, go. Hold down control. Circle. There we go. Why'd that take three times? Maybe, maybe it was a tutorial thing. That was weird. Recon here. Good read. Relax. 